Aviation obstruction lighting is used to enhance the visibility of structures or fixed obstacles which may conflict with the safe navigation of aircraft. Obstruction lighting is commonly installed on towers, buildings, and even fences located in areas where aircraft may be operating at low altitudes. In certain areas, some aviation regulators mandate the installation, operation, color, or status notification of obstruction lighting. For maximum visibility and collision avoidance, these lighting systems commonly employ one or more high-intensity strobe or LED devices which can be seen by pilots from many miles away from the obstruction. High voltage lines are major hazards for low-flying aircraft. Placing beacons on pylons is not sufficient to ensure safety due to the very long spans of cable extract of aerodrome design. Night marking, the Belizer cold neon discharge type created by OBSTA in the 60s is a beacon for high voltage lines. The power supply by capacitive effect ensures a constant red fixed light intensity above 10 candelas matching with IKO aviation definition. This light intensity remains constant whatever is the value of the electric cur current crossing the line, even without current the Belizer lamp remains visible with light output matching with IKO minimum requirements. The number of capacitive elements depends on the voltage of the lines. Our standard Belizer cold neon discharge type exists in three main configurations for 380 kV or higher, 220 kV and 132 kV AC network. Day marking, spherical markers are compliant with International Civil Aviation Organization ICAO. A marker displayed on an overhead wire, cable, etc., should be spherical and have a diameter of not less than 60 cm. The spacing between two consecutive markers or between a marker and a supporting tower should be appropriate to the diameter of the marker, but in no case should the spacing exceed 30 meters when the marker diameter is 60 cm. Where multiple wires, cables, etc., are involved, a marker should be located not lower than the level of the highest wire at the point marked. What is aviation lamp? Aviation lamps are high-intensity lights which is used to indicate the height of the building or tower to avoid aircraft collusions during nighttime. They are placed on the tower to more visible its structure. The lights are red color or ultraviolet and high-intensity. The intensity of the lights will be around 200 to 2000 candles i.e. in normal car we use around 25 candle intensity light, then you just imagine about aviation lamp. It delivers constant illumines sometimes high intensity of off cycle for few seconds, red beacons, red strobes, high intensity white light, medium intensity strobe light. Aviation lamp should be installed if the tower height is more than 40 meters. The lights may be LED or incandescent or neon lamp, however it should give the required intensity. Sometimes an electrical transmission tower, the aviation lamp may be energized either from the electric field surrounding the energized conductor, or the magnetic field produced by current through the conductor. Conductor. The first approach takes advantage of the high electric potential gradient around conductors. The second approach is based on Faraday's law of induction involving magnetic flux flowing through a circuit which energizes the warning light. The key points of aviation lamp, the main purpose aviation lamp is to avoid the collusion of the aircraft in the structure. To make the tower visible on night, these lightings are normally used. At the same time, it used in airplanes runways, to visible runways. A telecommunications power tower is a common tall structure. It is common in outdoor open spaces. For the flight safety of aviation aircraft, it is necessary to install suitable aviation obstruction lights on the tower. The types of obstruction lights required for telecommunication power towers of different heights and the number and layout of installations are different. Let's analyze the application and solution of obstruction lights on telecom towers in detail. What is the obstruction light? Aviation obstruction lights are special lamps that identify obstacles. The main function is to display and outline the outline of the building, so that the aircraft operator can judge the height and outline of the obstacle, and play a warning role. Classification of Aviation Beacon Lights, Low Intensity Obstruction Lighting it is also called L810 obstruction light. Mainly used for tall structures shorter than 45 meters. Medium intensity aviation obstruction lights. In FAA standard, it is L864 obstruction light flashing red light. It also includes L865 type which is white flashing. They are mainly working for obstacles which is range from 105 meter to 150 meter in height. High int intensity aircraft warning lights. It is generally installed on the top of more than 150 meter for structures. Below 45 meters above ground level AGL, low intensity aviation obstruction lights should be set up in relatively open areas around. Low intensity obstruction lights are constant luminous, red, and the peak light is stronger than 32.5 candelas. Generally, it is not used alone, but must be with medium intensity, used with high intensity obstruction lights. For example, buildings and their facilities above 45 meters are equipped with multi-layer medium intensity or high intensity obstruction lights, and low intensity obstruction lights can be set between medium intensity or high intensity obstruction lights. 
The low intensity obstruction light is red, and the effective light intensity is 100 candelas plus or minus 25%. Medium intensity aviation lights generally used for tall structures which are range from 45 meter to 150 meter in height. There are three types for them. Type of medium intensity obstruction light is a white flash with an effective light intensity of 20,000 candelas to 2,000 candelas. It is used for buildings and facilities above 105 meters and obstacles with strong background light reused with high intensity B type light dimming. Type B medium intensity obstruction lighting is red flashes with an effective light intensity of 2,000 candelas plus or minus 25%. They are used in buildings and facilities below 105 meters or used in conjunction with medium intensity type A and high intensity A type obstruction lights. Type C medium intensity aviation obstruction light is red constant light, the effective light intensity is 2000 candelas plus or minus 25%. The high intensity A type obstru obstruction lighting is a white flash, and it flashes with variable intensity in the day, dusk or dawn, and night. The effective light intensity is 200,000 candelas plus or minus 25% in the daytime, 20,000 candelas plus or minus 25% at dusk or dawn, 2,000 candelas plus or minus 25% at night, mainly used for buildings and facilities over 150 meters, or used in conjunction with medium intensity obstruction lights. The high intensity B type obstruction lighting is a white flash, and it flashes simultaneously at three levels of variable intensity at day, dusk or dawn, and night. The effective light intensity is 100,000 candelas plus or minus 25% in the daytime, 20,000 candelas plus or minus 25% at dusk or dawn, night 2,000 candelas plus or minus 25%, mainly used for marking wires, cable towers, and high-voltage transmission line towers. Basic requirements for aviation lights overall arrangement for telecom towers, a height of tall structure decides the number of light levels. The number and layout of LED aviation lights at each level should be placed to make sure the lighting is visible from every angle in azimuth. The number of obstruction lighting installed on the top or each level will be dependent on the width and length of towers. 45 meters apart, an obstruction light needs to be placed. So we can get the following diagrams about the distribution of obstruction lights at different heights of telecommunication towers. When it comes to transmission line projects, safety is always a top priority. One of the key safety measures for transmission towers is the use of high-intensity aircraft warning lights. These lights are critical in helping to prevent collisions between aircraft and transmission towers, especially in low visibility conditions. In this post, we'll discuss a solar kit system that can power high-intensity aircraft warning lights for transmission line projects. Solar kits are an ideal solution for powering high-intensity aircraft warning lights on transmission towers. They are eco-friendly, cost-effective, and require minimal maintenance. The system we'll discuss here is designed to be used in remote locations, where access to the electrical grid may not be possible. The solar kit consists of the following components. Solar panels are the primary component of the system. They are responsible for converting sunlight into electricity that can be used to power the warning lights. The number and size of solar panels required will depend on the number of warning lights and their power consumption. Batteries are used to store the electricity generated by the solar panels. They ensure that the system has a continuous power supply, even when there is no sunlight. Deep cycle batteries are recommended for this application since they are designed to discharge and recharge frequently. Charge controller regulates the flow of electricity between the solar panels and batteries. It prevents overcharging and undercharging, which can damage the batteries and reduce their lifespan. The inverter is used to convert the DC electricity stored in the batteries into AC electricity that can be used to power the warning lights. It's important to choose an inverter that is compatible with the voltage and frequency requirements of the warning lights. High-intensity aircraft warning lights, these lights are designed to be visible from long distances and are critical in ensuring the safety of aircraft flying near transmission towers. The number and placement of warning lights will depend on the specific requirements of the transmission line project. Mounting hardware and cables, the mounting hardware and cables are used to install and connect the various components of the solar kit system. It's important to ensure that all components are securely mounted and connected to prevent damage from wind and weather. The solar kit system should be designed to provide sufficient power to run the warning lights for the required amount of time each night. This will depend on the number of warning lights, their power consumption, and the amount of sunlight available each day. It's important to calculate the power requirements carefully to ensure that the system is reliable and effective. In conclusion, a solar kit system is an excellent solution for powering high-intensity aircraft warning lights on transmission towers. It's eco-friendly, cost-effective, and requires minimal maintenance. By carefully selecting the components and designing the system to meet the specific requirements of the transmission line project, you can ensure the safety of aircraft flying near transmission towers, even in low visibility conditions.